Um, let's look at this jump pass questions biology 2018 question number three long neck in giraffe is used to illustrate the theory of a use and disuse b origin of species three c origin of life d natural selection now for us to appreciate this let's look at what the theory of use and disuse states let's look at this very important theory known as the theory of use and disuse this theory was postulated by Jellamak and the theory is of the opinion that this theory states that when a body part is used constantly when a body part is used constantly it becomes more developed when a body part is used constantly it becomes more developed and efficient so when you continue to use a part of a body or a body part constantly every time that very part is going to become more developed and more efficient why those that are not used become less efficient while those that are not used why those body parts that are not used becomes less efficient you see that and small they become both less efficient and small but the part that you use become more developed and more efficient so these developed traits are then passed on to the organism so when these developed uh, traits and efficiency are then passed on to their offspring that's the organism's offspring he then you th so this was actually the theory that the porcelain used the giraffe as an example stating that ancestors of giraffe had short neck however because they had to stretch their necks to reach for leaves on trees the necks got longer and this was passed to their offsprings as a threat so you can see this is actually why the giraffes have long neck because their ancestors like this is a giraffe and this giraffe is reaching for leaves on trees these are leaves on trees because for them to survive they have to eat so because the ancestor of the giraffe this is the ancestor of this giraffe they continue to stretch their neck in order to get these leaves so that now made the neck of giraffes to be very long and that is why when you see a giraffe you find out that the leg the neck is very long this is the long neck of the giraffe the offspring whereas the ancestor had short neck but they continue to stretch their neck in order for them to feed on leaves that are up here on the trees so after some time these their neck become well developed and very efficient because they are being constantly used so the threat of this long neck is then passed to the offspring and that's why we have the giraffes to have long neck so the answer to this is option a use and disuse the long neck in giraffe is used to illustrate the theory of use and disuse because constant units using of a particular body part makes it to be very well developed and more efficient and that is how we come about this and that is why option a is the answer thank you